Hey guys, I'm o my name is Oak and Bearclaw and I'm back with Soul Forge. I'm going to be playing the next team in my casual draft now. We'll see how things go. Waiting for opponents. Uh, to recap, we won our first game. I drafted uh, a new deck, Necrim Mutera. And this is a pretty solid opening hand. Alright. Looks like he has the first play. So probably the batter hide and the project will go down first. I like Progeny of this. It's a good card. Batterhide is, of course, amazing. I've also got a Bramble Axe Warrior. Not gonna be a cheese on the first turn. And the Sacred on top. Bad. It's a decent boggy, but. I think it was a good card to have in general. But I'm probably a tear. Okay. That's his play then. Let's put the batter height in front of that and the pressure of this somewhere else. Okay. Calamity Fiend. Which is kind of removal, sort of. Feather Fang's a good body, Venom Strike is actually really good removal in the draft. At least. Spinely, solid body. Okay. Nifty. Well, that's fine. I mostly just played the better height to level it. I'm not too concerned about having a 3-6 right off the bat. Okay, so... When he dies, that's a zombie, so... What I'm gonna do is, I'm going to Venom Strike that, I'll just let my Frosty die so it respawns somewhere else. And I'm going to... Which of you has the better level 2? 12, 8, who are else 12, 8? Okay. 16, 12. Okay, you get the slightly better level 3, so I'll level you up first. And pass. Alright, get my right fiend to throw up for a block. Uh, the heaven bound and shard bound aren't useful yet. Might play Hall of Zith, not amazing, rank 1. Third fancy is neat. Okay. So far things are going fine. But of course it's very, very early in the game. It's gonna spite height for that. Well, he's not getting the Allied Tempest effect. As it is, it doesn't trade. I need to just click another, alright. Um. Throw that out there. And, yeah, I don't mind trading there and we'll just take some damage. Oh, now, uh, derp, 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 don't want to play the Banshee. Particularly want to play the Banshee. I guess I'll play Howl. Good stuff. That's good stuff. I wanna play. Uh probably not gonna play that. Sorrow Maiden is almost certainly gonna be one of my cards. <sighs> Whispers would be great here. We only have two creatures no matter how I cut it. Okay, uh... I'm gonna get Sorrow Maiden down. Do I? Yeah.
so she'll survive the initial fight there, and then he'll be able to attack the Kalami and kill her. That's not really what I want. Um, start the Sorrow Maiden here. I guess I'll just continue to take damage from that Pokemon Chambler for now. And do I want to trade with the Lysian Hydra there? Yeah, I think so. Just because my Hydra gets nasty if you don't pull it quickly. So, so far we're evenly racing. And I've got a Zithian Rock to take care of the Chambler this time. We're, well, the Invoker's online now, so that might be good play. Got the Spine Leaf again, and the Mantis. Okay, I'm gonna be useful last turn. And that again. Okay. Ooh! Session. But he missed the, uh, allied effect. So it's just minus three, minus three. Which, mm, there's better cards if you're not getting the allied effect. That's a wide discard at a spell and level it, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I want to stop the bleeding there, so I think I'm going to Invoker Pump the Maiden. Yeah. And then. Six nine fourteen. You are six twelve sixteen. Okay. Play the spine leaf. Battle and activate to kill the zombie. And pass. That was a pretty good turn. I like that. Ooh, level two rock fiend. Level two batter hide. Definitely playing the batter hide down again, regardless of what happens. Might play the Rafi. Ooh, 7 6. Ar four armor. That's gonna be hard to kill. Well, not so much. I've got the Venom Strike. And after flying the Spine Leaf up, so it doesn't deal any damage. Alright. Well, uh, this is a pretty simple turn. Venom strike that. Slay out a batter hide. Lose my slime leaf, I guess. And pass turn. Necroplay is a decent card if you can draft a bunch of it, because you can chain them together. Hmm. So far, so fine. I'm losing slightly, but. I think my deck scale is better than he does. His does. Excuse me. Um. One thing I'm kind of not liking as much as I could about Soul Forge is play sometimes really slow. I mean, take Infinity Wars. Everything's really fast paced. Magic. Not as fast as Infinity Wars, but still a decent place. Okay, Medic got Medic transferred. Fine, um, but so far it's gonna be really, really slow sometimes, or at least it feels slow. Maybe I'm just impatient. Come on, does it not work the way I think it does? It is damage dealt, okay. Uh, but that means that I should be able to trade with it with nearly anything. Uh, the other thing we trade with regardless. Yeah, I want to get that off the field. And... Hmm. It's a little bit of life gain. Also life gain. I don't particularly need to give anything breakthrough. So these are small drain effects as well as a body where this is big drain effect. Um, I love Zith will continue to scaling up, so I should level up my Mr. Demon and my Zithian host. Uh, you're a 5, 9, 15. You're a 3, 5, 9. But the Mr. Demon only wears off salt. Uh, I'd rather have the bigger body for now. 
take a bit of drain. Trade off there. Okay. Ooh, my impression needs this is back. Got a Calamity Fiend. Bizarre Act Dragon could probably just pass over. I was in Tempest, so it was just kind of a map pick. Don't always get good cards to draft. But that's kind of fun. Okay. Then my Batter Hide will go down to a 6 4 while dealing him 3 damage if he doesn't do anything about that zombie. Okay. Ah! Uh I don't think Aloe and Necrium has any ways to give out straight buffs. At least none that he's likely to have. I guess there's Iron Battery Enforcements and a few things like that, but not a lot. He played a Spite Hydrant for my Misery Demon. Uh, let's see here. Clomity Fiend would shrink that to a 7 7. The, mis the Misery Demon will still lose. Uh, I think I've just got to write up that Misery Demon as a loss. Meanwhile, play the progeny of this. Yeah. And... Hydro? I'm gonna get you to level 2. And you're never great. I mean, body's respectable on shrink something, but it only shrinks on salt. So I think I'd rather just keep the Hydra big. Yeah. That's a trade I can't do anything about, so... Then better hide, I just see him directly. Oh! Good stuff. He's got a dangerous spite hydra, but other than that, I've got the board edge. Uh, I could just venom strike the hydra. Yeah, this seems fine. Uh, that's a two for two. Uh, he'll get the edge from that because he leveled up something in mission for it. But actually, no one for one, two for two. Anyway, uh, what's my play here? My play is Venom Strike on that. And get the assault off the Misery Demon and let that trade happen. I don't think there's any way I can save the Hydra. I suppose I could throw a breakthrough on it, get a few points, but nah, Mr. Demon. Some life back. Because I'm gonna take a punch of 11. Batter hides up. Ah, there's my Flash Reaver. Would have liked that way sooner, but whatevs. Okay, uh... Just gonna throw out the batter hide here and throw the flush reaver in front of that. Because I really need to level that guy up for him to be useful. Ah, my level 2 Sorrow Maiden. That'll be nice. I mean, it's a little late, but it'll be nice. Ooh. Okay. Batter height is now no 18. That's fine, though. about that. Wait for a big creature, I guess. Something with at least 16 power. Hmm. 
that a sorrow maiden there and I could shrink him just to uh, cut down on my losses a bit. Yeah. Probably should have leveled the fiend earlier. Yeah, he takes your batter hide. Ah, some buffs. Ooh, this inside that'll help a lot, actually. I can sh assuming the Sorrow Maiden lives and doesn't do something fantastic, I'll be able to shrink the Sorrow Maiden. Take him out. Oh, hi, another Hydra. Yeah. And the buff from... Oh, crap. Okay, Sorrow Maiden died. Well, now what? Uh, I think I still have to see the scythe from the batter hide here. Shrink his guy. Plus three. Or something trade with that. Ah, another venom strike to take out the Hydra and a big threat. It's not too late to swing this around. Yeah, I did some poor leveling early in this fight, so that's why I'm having so much trouble now. Ow. Oh well, Fender Strike will still make relatively quick work of it. Mm, I think I'm gonna lose this though. He's keeping his momentum going. Okay, let me think about this. Uh, the Ebonbound Warlord can take out the zombie. Still use the Spike Hydra punching me in the face. Do I just want to trade the Feather Fang for it? it doesn't seem like a great idea, considering. <coughs> uh, so the Ebonbound from the Hydra. That'd be something at least. That would grow him. But it's poison hate, so I basically just get stalled. Uh, is that my play here? On the other hand, Zithian host would give me some life back, so I can stall a bit. Uh, but the zombie would still keep blasting me, so the upper and bound warlord preventing damage. Life. <laughs> That's me very almost losing. If he has a bus to throw out, I lose, unfortunately. Can't throw four creatures out. Um, then these are removable as well. Yeah, doesn't matter. Once it goes around to his turn, he wins. All right. Go ahead and concede this. Alright, so that was game two. I made some early misplays and it really freaking cost me. I'll see you in the next part for game three. Bye bye!